it's more intense. You know, the, the world's more desperate, and our guys are trapped in this world, and they're making desperate choices. It's believable in this world. I think the audience can take it. I think it's a thrill ride, and we want to make it as exciting as possible. I think the Risers have done a very good job of keep, I mean, you've seen the first two, they keep laying on the pressure onto the group and also within the characters as well and, and certainly the clash of civilizations is very much what this season is about so it's not only the zombie threat it's much more of a human threat. I think you'll agree you'll be on the edge of your seat with very little time to take a breath. It all tends to ramp up very very quickly. After the end of the second season and the way everything escalated to that point we thought that it would be a, a, a huge misstep to kind of back off on that and we thought that you know just going full steam ahead and keeping the pace of those last two episodes seemed like the right way to go and uh, uh, remarkably I think we've kept that pace up through the entirety of season three so it's gonna be quite the thrill ride and everybody realizes they can't be the weak link nobody wants anyone to die on their watch so that's what's important is that our group is you know like a, a band of soldiers that has bonded together they've been through a battle and they continue you know they're on a, a an endless march describe the season in a word or two how would you think it compares oh man action-packed I have to say you know and it's uh, season two is really about developing the characters yeah. you know and so now that they've developed most of the characters in the main cast now they can go full out yeah I think you know we all we've become this elite strike force and We've had seven or eight months to bond with each other. What's great about this season is everyone is tested. People are tested. People are uh, 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 pitted against uh, another force. People are sometimes pitted against each other. It's, 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 it's what happens when society breaks down and you realize that you only have your basic things that you can uh, live off of and what happens when two people want the same thing. It's, it's crazy. When they get into this prison, are there dangers that await them beyond the obvious, the walkers that will be yes. in there? You know, there, there's, there's, you know, this prison, the way I look at this prison is when the outbreak happened, there was a zombie movie that took place in a prison. <laughs> and, and one day maybe we'll go back and film that yeah. movie. And now our guys come in and they're sort of the sequel to what happened. So there are survivors in that prison, there are, are uh, um, you know, damage in the prison, so walkers keep coming in, and, and there's, uh, uh, it's never safe. You know, they fooled themselves into thinking the farm was safe. From the jump, they know this prison is not safe, and that remains true throughout the season. Oh, in you know, Woodbury, when Woodbury, everything is safe, fur. Um, so I think we should be fine. But then that's when the drama comes again. That's when it intensifies. But I think the writers are great at doing that, you know? They, they throw you these curveballs. They have you thinking that when everything's just fine, they get you. They get you. Say, so you and oh, T-Dog's going to save the day. <laughs> you know, so. Listen, T-Dog will help to save the day. Part of the charm of this season is the fact that, you know, we are going to have the Woodbury story. We are going to have the prison story. Those two little communities are going to be doing their things. There's going to be quite a bit of interaction between the two as the season progresses. But the whole season is about these two communities colliding and what the result of that is. And so that's going to be the uh, the march of this season is, is when do they collide? When do these different factions, you know, see each other and how do they interact and what comes of that? It's not good versus bad, necessarily. Uh, it's one person's mode of survival versus another person's mode of survival and whose ever perspective you're coming from and uh, you can identify with anyone essentially and that's just on you and I think what's great about this season is it really tests that and pits people together uh, against each other and you just, it's a firework display. Now when are we gonna meet the governor and, and sort of venture into you that? You will not have to wait long to meet the governor so and you when you meet the governor that is very much the governor it's our interpretation of the comic book so people are getting what they want and they just have to realize that the story is going to unfold at a particular pace but by the end of the season everybody will I, all the comic book fans I think will be satisfied. Hey I'm Mel Gould and you're watching ENTV. Hey I'm Rico Rodriguez from Modern Family and you're watching ENTV. My name's Chris Pratt and you are watching ENTV.